Cam here from Xano Support, and today we're going to be taking a look at IP address lookup. It's a new feature we've released that allows us to take an IP address and exchange it for location information. We're able to get the latitude and longitude, and in our case specifically, we'll take this latitude and longitude and save it within a geo point column so we can display this information on a map. So just getting started, I have a pretty blank workspace. I have one table by the name of location, and inside my table, I have a column also by the name of location. What this column is, is a geography point. So it's a point of latitude and longitude coordinates. Now we're going to go to our API group and we're going to go where I have it saved in the location group. I'm going to go and focus on my post endpoint because the idea here is when someone queries this endpoint, I want to create a record with their geolocation. So I'll go ahead and select it. And what we have here at the very beginning, I just want to go ahead and disable the input because I'm not going to be requiring a geolocation input. And I also want to disable here my add record to location because as I test, I don't want to create extra records. What I'll do in my function stack at the top right, I'll select this blue plus button. And what we need to do is find our IP address. And so you can see here, if you type in IP address, uh, you get your IP address lookup function it's going to get us our geolocation of an IP address. So we'll go ahead and select it. And Xano makes this really easy because the next question is, where do I get this IP address information? Fortunately, it's within our environment variables, the HTTP headers. This is going to maintain the request headers. And so what we'll be able to do is reference this and select X real IP. So this key of X real IP is going to hold the value of the IP address of the person who made this request. We'll go ahead and turn this return as to geo and we'll turn our response also to geo so that we can test. I'll run this and perfect. We get our uh, geolocation information. You can see we have our continent, our country, our region, our city, our postal code, and last but not least, our location. The location has latitude and longitude. And it also has our time zone. So it's pretty powerful and you can do a lot of different things with this. For us specifically, we're going to take our address information and save it to our geo point column. So let's grab our IP address lookup and move it above the record. We'll re-enable the record and geo points have a particular schema that they follow. The schema looks like this, where we have a type point key value pair and then a data object that holds our longitude and our latitude. I'll import this with filters because it's a little easier to update this dynamically. And what I'll also do is I'll copy this input or this response from our run and debug. I'll then select my longitude and my longitude here, I'm going to hover over geo and select subpath where I'll define the path by pasting that value I just copied. And then I'll be able to find under location. I'm looking for longitude specifically. Perfect. For my latitude, I'm going to do the same thing here where I'm going to hover over geo, select subpath and paste that response I got, click define, and then find my latitude. Perfect. Click save and we should be good to go. Let's change that response here real quick to location and click run again. Perfect. No errors. It looks like it's working correctly. Let's go ahead and just double check by heading to our database. And this location column, it does show me that I am in fact in the desert. Perfect. If we zoom in, it's saying that I live in the middle of a wash. Now, realistically, this is just giving us a general location of this user. And so this is the general location of what my IP address provides. I am in the desert, not necessarily in the wash, but close enough. The number of reasons why it's not super accurate and for good reasons, of course, for security and preventative measures, this just provides us the general understanding of the location of the user. So with that, we can take a look right again at this function stack and see very or how very simple it is, where really the only thing that we need to do is add a function, the IP address lookup, provided our IP address, and then save that latitude and longitude and geo point schema. So thanks so much for watching. This is how you successfully take an IP address and get its geolocation, and you can do a lot with it. As we had seen within the schema, you also get the time zone. So if you wanted to create a time zone app, or at least if your app requires a time zone, you no longer need any third parties for this information. You can get it all native to Xamarin.
If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave that within the comment section below. You can also reach out to us within the support chat. Within your instance on the left-hand side, you can go ahead and connect with us, or you can, of course, always reach out to us on the community. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time.